Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Um, so I wanted to do an updated video on my acrylic pour workspace and setup. So basically here, this is just a plastic bin. This is actually like a concrete mixing bin. Uh, but previously what I had was a clear plastic bin that's just for like storing clothes under your bed. So anything even remotely similar would work. This is a big one. I wanted something that was big enough to fit a 20 by 20 canvas, which barely fits in here. But anyways, um, this is a screen that I had custom made for the bin and actually wasn't very expensive. And that is to keep any bugs out because bugs love acrylic paint. And then up here is this arm attachment that I made that is attached to my shelf there and that is where my phone goes for my videos so i'm gonna set it there for now move the screen you can see a painting that i did yesterday now here's what i do because if you just leave it directly on this rack it will stick to the rack and then you'll have a yucky mess there so what i do is i put a it's still wet <laughs> but i put a canvas underneath that still has the plastic on it because the plastic will peel right off and then that I can still use the canvas later of course so that's what I do with that uh, you could also put parchment paper down um, or whatnot I just find this easy because then also if I want to move it I just pick this up and go put it on a shelf somewhere like I'm gonna move it right now All right, and then this is a um, basically like a tabletop rack that this one I actually don't know exactly where it came from because my friend got it for me but if you look down in the description there's my Amazon store and you'll find one there uh, that I used to use but it's just you're gonna look for anything that's like a countertop rack this one we actually cut down to make it a little shorter because it was taller than I wanted. I wanted something shorter. And the whole purpose of this is so that the paint can flow. If you have your acrylic pour on a flat surface, then you're basically gonna be setting your painting into like a pile of paint, which is okay too. Um, if you only have that, that's fine. That's what I did for quite a while actually. Uh, so this is just a simple rack. You can pick up something similar, maybe for like dish drying or something like that at um, I'm sure Walmart, Target, anywhere. And this obviously can come out. Now, if you wanna keep your space clean, and mind you, I'm not the cleanest person, uh, you can put down parchment paper because then it is really easy to just peel it out. And then you can either keep the skins here or you can just move it aside. I'm not sure if I want to keep any of this, so I'm just going to gently move it and then put a new piece down. This bin is also plastic, so if you wanted to, you can just let it dry. As you see, I usually do just let it drip on here and then I peel it out. Um, so that's another option as well. If you want something probably a little easier to clean, though, I would definitely suggest the parchment paper. And one key point that I want to mention is if you're using the correct quantities of paint, you're not going to waste a lot. So this is how much paint has dripped on here after um, four paintings. All right, so you see it's not a lot. This is four paintings worth of drip off. And it's, it's like actually not even really enough to do skins with. You know what I mean? So that's just a note for how you can keep it clean pretty easily and then I do recommend if you're in any area that has a lot of bugs like we do this like getting something like a screen to go over will work really well you don't want to put something solid over because then your paint won't dry your canvas can warp like it's too much moisture would get trapped in there and I know from experience because I did that <laughs> Um, so this I find to be a great solution for keeping the bugs out. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I wanted to do a little more in-depth video on my setup here. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.